Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Saturday, March 24th, 2018. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, I didn't think I'd be doing a video this soon, but I uh, picked up a few uh, pieces in the store and I got a couple pieces in the mail. So I thought I'd share with you, uh, share them with you uh, for this weekend. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, latest things that I found. Uh, and um, uh, the first things I want to share with you are the new car culture. Um, they're the cargo carriers. Uh, these are actually being found at toy, uh, excuse me, at Target now. So um, five cars. And then we'll go ahead and start with them. Okay. So uh, the first piece here is the number one of five. This is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. It's the Moon Eyes. And there's the card. And as I mentioned uh, when I did the Japan 2 Historics, uh, as you know, already know, uh, they put them on the larger cards now, uh, and they are more expensive. They, you know, at Target they used to be 350 now they're up to 550 and they're on the um, regular pop, pop culture slash retro entertainment size cards. So, um, not too thrilled about that because that did... I don't know if that's what drove the price up or what, but they are now five fifty a piece. Um, so, anyway, here you go. Here it is. Not, not bad. Moon eyes. Uh, go with the moon in the back there. You can see that. There you go. And got the white roof. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, second one is the Ford Transit. Back up here, the Ford Transit Super Van. Uh, uh, it's probably one of my favorite of this release. And of course, it is the Golf Racing uh, Deco, so that'll go in the case. Uh, so this is number two. Open this one up for you. Uh, let's see, the VW Van has your typical. Um, pop culture type wheels. This has the new style um, wheel and tires, the rounded uh, wheel riders. So there you go. Pretty cool piece. Okay, got the Golf Deco, the Golf brand there, and the two orange stripes on the top. So there you go. That's number two. Number three, uh, Volkswagen Sunagen. Sunagen. I don't know how they spell it, how they pronounce that, but there you go. With the classic woody panel on the side. Um, the ugly, ta ugly tan and brown. Uh, haven't seen this casting in a while, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think the top probably lifts up. Yep, it does. Cool. And it's got the motorcycle on the back, or the moped. Okay, there's the motorbike. Okay. Same casting we saw with the Retro Entertainment A-Team and a few others. Okay, the next one everyone's probably going to be after, number four. Nissan C10 Skyline Wagon. Kind of in the green there. Card is kind of cool. Yep. Open this one up. <clears throat> okay, kind of cool looking. Let's uh, see, is it? Uh, yep, it is right hand drive. No deco, just kind of the that green there. Looks like brown or mustard, yellow, um, orange interior. Okay. Actually looks pretty cool. Alright. <clears throat> and number five is the Honda Odyssey. I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, I remember, I believe we saw this, what, in... A few main lines, but from a real rider's perspective, I think we saw this definitely in the Boulevard, I believe. Boulevard series. Kind of the maroon color. Okay. 
No, actually, it's a little bit different casting. It might be a new casting. It's got a, a moonroof there. Uh, and let's see what it says on the back of it. Uh, Bismodo. Huh. There you go. It's kind of cool for a minivan. Okay. Got the real riders there. And like I said, it's got that little moon roof there. Kind of interesting. All right. So that is the new car culture series, new car cargo carriers. All right. Hold on. Uh, the other thing I found today, actually, um, I stumbled across them. I didn't know they were coming out, but uh, it's a couple of new um, retro entertainments. You know, in the past, they used to release the retro entertainments uh, in either five or six uh, set um, a piece, or five or six at a time. But um, lately, they've been changing it, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, these, I haven't seen these, so I assume they're new. Um, so we have here the first of all, we have the Beatles Yellow Submarine, and. Um, Let's open this up. I don't know if there's any difference between this one and the main line. <clears throat> Let's see if we can tell. Well, it looks pretty much the same. Um, well, it may be a little bit heavier. The whole yellow body is all metal, um, but the top part is plastic. And it's got plastic wheels. I don't have a main line with me um, handy right now to compare the two, but uh, there you go. And then the other piece that I, that I found, which I actually like, is the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. Um, the main line of this was okay. Uh, a lot of people went crazy for it. Um, you know, I didn't, you know, people were buying these up like, you know, by the dozen, but uh, it wasn't really my thing. But this one actually looks really nice with the real riders. So I'll open this one up. <clears throat> Again, I found these at Walmart today. She's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I really like it with the real, real riders. Uh, makes a big difference, and the rims, of course. Okay. So again, I don't know um, if you guys know. Um, feel free to comment, but I don't know if there is more for this particular release or not. So who knows what they're doing? <laughs> um, okay. The other thing I bought. So I got a question for you guys. So um, you know, I don't. You know, some people buy multi packs, some people don't. Um, I tend to buy multi packs if, and that's kind of crazy, but have you got, has anybody actually bought multi packs just for one, maybe two cars from it? Um, I've done that a lot with five packs and as multi packs. Um, the two cars that I was interested in, um, one of them is the, the green GT up here. Um, I don't know if that, um, I don't know if and when that's been a mainline, a single car or not. And then, of course, this, the purple one up here, the Nissan. So all the others I'll throw, most likely throw in my, my uh, loose loose uh, bin for um, for sale at the meets. But um, so yeah, let me know if you if you ever, if you if you ever buy um, you know multi packs just for one car. <laughs> so and actually, I'll use, I'll reuse this box and put my supers in them, my loose supers in them. That's what I've been doing lately. So okay. Um, the next thing's uh, let's see. Um, the other thing I found at Walmart today is a few new um, matchbox. So this is a brand new case, I believe. We have the Jeep Wagon uh, Wagoneer um, in a red with kind of a wood paneling. Have the, the MBX uh, excavator. Um, I particularly buy. I don't typically get this, but I do collect the um, the ink brand or the ink labels. Um, so this will be nice to add it to the collection. Um, I'm missing a couple more. I think one's in a multi-pack as well. So i got to decide if I want to buy the multi-pack. It's big. I think it's a big dump truck, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I've only seen it in the multi-pack. I haven't seen it single-carded. So got that one. And then the third one I got was this Land Rover 90. I thought this was kind of cool piece. 
interesting color. And the other thing I got from Walmart today was um, this particular piece. It's the the new, I'm assuming it's new, uh, Japan M2, um, limited to 9,800 pieces. Um, they had several other pieces here, but uh, this one is the 71 Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, they had the other pieces here, but I wasn't really interested in getting them. I, I really, I saw this one, and I kind of like this one, so I decided to get this one all black with the, with the, almost the black, the ghost black um, tampos in there. Okay. And the last thing I want to share with you is um, I picked these up from 3000 Toys. This is to add to my 143rd collection. So um, these have been out for a while, I think. So I have here um, the 143rd Green Lights uh, Fast and Furious pieces. Uh, this one here is Brian's 99 Ford F-150 SVT uh, Lightning. From the first movie. Okay. Uh, from the second movie, Fast and Furious 2, um, Roman's 2001 Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider. Got the convertible. And then this one here, the 1989 Nissan Skyline GTR R32. It's black, so kind of hard to see here, but there you go. Okay, so I actually have a case with all my all the other previous releases of the 143rd Fast and Furious set. So that's nice. So I think I'm up to date now. I think I have them all so far. Um, well, so we'll see if they continue. I assume they're going to continue to make them as as long as they continue to make the movies. <laughs> so, um, okay, well that's it. All I have to share with you. Like I said, just real quick. Um, until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.